Hello, my name is Jay Berseth. I am with Radio Milwaukee, and I am here with John Phillip of the band The Benjamins. Well, of many things, but I'm talking to him today about The Benjamins, who hey. are having... Go ahead, Johnny, what's up? Hey, I couldn't be more excited to be here, and this is so cool that you work for 88.9 now, and this is your first interview. This is like a like a, a God moment here. <laughs> brought us together. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so you, John and I used to work together many, many moons ago uh, in the service industry. And um, John, I feel like I told you this uh, many years ago, but um, I first saw the Benjamins um, open for Real Big Fish at Summerfest 2001. Uh, oh. Me and my 14, 14 year old friends were there and... Um, uh, I, I, I will reserve my opinion about real big fish, but I was very excited about the Benjamins and, uh, at, at, at some point, um, you know, it was, it was announced that like, Hey, we're, we're a Milwaukee band. Uh, and I was like, wow, good music can come from Milwaukee. This is great. Um, and it was really, uh, the Benjamins kind of became my, my gateway drug. You know, I got more into other drive through records bands and then, you know, I uh, escalated up into harder, harder punk music. But started uh, playing the drums. say that again, started playing the drums. Yeah, right. Yeah, that was that was right when I was getting into the drums. And I remember um, you were throwing drumsticks out at the end of your set and I caught one and I still had it up until I think I think I lost it in a move some like relatively recently. But yeah, I, uh, I kept that drumstick for the longest time. I'll have to get you a new one. <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> maybe uh maybe this weekend. Yeah. Uh, because y'all are playing some reunion shows. So um tell me how did the Benjamins come together for this reunion? Um it's it's pretty simple actually. Leah Miranda, who used to run and own the globe, the East Side Globe on North Avenue, and my cat Valentine keeps getting into it. <laughs> It would not uh, be Zoom without a uh, cat cameo, you know? Totally. Uh, Leah was putting together this 20-year anniversary or a 20-year reunion for the Globe because it closed down 20 years ago, pretty much to the day that the show is happening. I was actually there at the, the last day, uh, the last show and the whole oh. like, closing of the Globe. So this is kind of serendipitous of her just asking us to do the show us being available to do it um and then it kind of snowballed from there uh there was a weird moment where we didn't even really talk much about the show except for just confirming that we can all do it and then jay our singer he was like he lives in washington now the washington state and he's like I'm actually, this is, this is really weird timing. He said that he's taking a sabbatical from work and that he was already planning to come to Wisconsin and that he borrowed his, his boss's acoustic guitar so he can just butts around with it and write some songs and practice his own. And then, you know, confirming the show, he, I think he kind of willed this thing to happen, this whole show. So Jay yeah. grabbing the acoustic guitar and booking this this trip to Milwaukee already to come home and see family and friends. And, you know, he lived here for a very long time and worked at Vanguard, um, kind of willed this show to happen. And Leah asked us, so we're like, yeah, let's let's do it. And then we kind of figured, because we get a shorter set at the Globe reunion, we go on at 9.35 p.m. on Saturday night. Uh, we only get about 20, 25 minutes as do every other band that's playing the show. They get about 20, 25 minutes. Uh, it's going to be quick set changeovers. There's two bands every hour. And we're like, let's play a longer set and see if we can get a second show going. So then Ben, I guess, went over to Promises Bar, which is off a National Avenue. I've never been there right. myself. Newer yeah, bar. It, I want to say it opened about a year ago, so it's still relatively new. Yeah, yeah. I, never been there never seen the inside of it and and ben went over there was like do you guys want to do a matinee show and they said yes you know like have a free show charge five dollars at the door whatever you guys want to do have an opening band like they were so down for it so we're like oh we, we have to do this you know it's 
let's play an hour long set as opposed to like 20, 25 minutes. That's and, great. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And, um, I also appreciate that it's a, it's a matinee show. So, uh, I don't, <laughs> I'm getting a little too old to stay out super late. So, um, we all are. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so, so say a little bit more. So the, the reunion is at, uh, Miramar theater, right? Um, who else is playing and what exactly is a venue reunion? <laughs> So the the Globe, they they were around for 10 years. I don't I don't know if you remember the Globe. I do, the, yeah. The yeah. Globe, they were around from 1993 to 2003, and then they shut down in 2003. And 20 years later, I think Leah and all her friends were like, maybe we can put together a, a benefit show for somebody in town. So I, I, this is for WMSE. It's a benefit for them. And oh, cool. so there's Big Dumb Dick, uh, all bands that used to play the Globe a lot in the heyday. They're all playing. The Exotics. Um, I'll have to pull up the list here because there's 18 bands that are playing. It's hard. To, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's really hard to remember all of them that are playing. I looked at the list and I was, it made my head swim. Right. So we have, uh, the, the ones that I really remember, Mississippi Cactus, mm. um, Orange Ruffy. Big Dumb Dick, Black Belt Theater, uh, The Invaders, The Exotics, and Big Bang Theory. Those are the ones that I really remember. Yeah, that is going to be an incredible night. That's a real, like, marathon show. Totally. Uh, um, and, and that's at the Miramar Theater on the east side on Oakland, yeah. Uh, what time does it start? Starts at 1 p.m. and it goes till 1 a.m. So 12 <laughs> hours 20 bucks for a 12 hour show and you can I, I don't I hope you can come and go as you please that would that would be kind of nice so somebody doesn't have to stay there for 12 hours they need to well, go take care of the kids or something <laughs> yeah it's it's kind of like uh it's kind of like the river west 24 you just need to like stick it out for the for the entire time so it's the it's the east side 12 I guess totally yeah I, and I know that you kind of partake in the river west 24 sometimes right uh, yeah, I uh, I did it for the first time this last year, so a month ago, more or less. Uh, but yeah, I'm always always bumming around for it. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it was great this this last year. I did it from like four a.m. to eight a.m. and then again at like noon for several hours. So yeah, How did you, you just got... that? <laughs> what's that? How did you survive that? Um coffee and Gatorade um and Butter. sleeping for like 12 hours the <laughs> later but which you know I'm I'm sure a lot of people uh after this weekend will will do the same they'll just power through it and then sleep from what 130 to 130 and then go to the next show at totally. promises I hope uh, so the doors open at promises at 2 p.m on Sunday uh, Clementine, local Milwaukee band, they go on at three, and then the Benjamins will play at four. At promises, full set, full set, probably so. The, probably the whole art of disappointment record, and maybe some covers, maybe some surprise covers. Great, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I know I saw you all seven years ago. I think was the last reunion. Um, and I recall at least one cover. You know what? Our last show seven years ago, you were responsible for that one. <laughs> I was I was behind the scenes a little bit on that one too. Yeah. We yeah. we we will always, you know, we will always uh cross paths here, John. I love I, it. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, so a little bit uh more about the globe um and the reunion show on Saturday. Um, what's the Benjamins history with the globe in particular? And can you describe like one memorable show from the decade of the globe? Oh my gosh. I will. Okay. So the globe was the venue that had all ages shows and 21 and up shows. So when I wasn't of drinking age, this is like 1996, 97, I started going to see local bands play all ages shows and I saw Alligator Gun there, which is Scott from the Promise Ring and Dashboard Confessionals old band. Um, 
my favorite show that I ever saw at the Globe was a punk band called Seven Seconds. And they played with uh, Slapstick, which is an old ska band from Chicago. That was probably my favorite show that I ever saw there. Um, there was four bands that played that night. And that was probably 97, 96. And then my favorite show that I ever played there was the Benjamins played with, I don't remember, I don't know if you remember that band from Austin, that ska punk band called The Impossibles. Oh, I loved The Impossibles. Yes, I do remember them. Yeah, we played a sold out show there with The Impossibles. Uh, this is like probably the year 2000 before The Art of Disappointment came out. I was a huge Impossibles fan. So that was that was a big night for me. And I, I think I was only not even 21 at that time. Yeah, that's huge. That's great. Yeah. And, and Seven Seconds, I think, are still touring, actually. Yeah, they are. What a great, like, underage show to go to. That's awesome. So not only history of just attending shows there, but the Benjamins would play so many shows year in and year out at the beginning of our band. And then when we ended in 2002, we did an all ages and a drinking show to end our band when we're all kind of parting ways. And it was the night of a, sto of a snowstorm, a blizzard. This is like February, 2002. Sounds and right, yeah. They were, they were still well attended and people had trouble getting into town for them. But that was a really fond memory too, kind of like everybody coming to to see us off. Yeah, that's great. Their last shows there technically too. Yeah, that's great. Um, so yeah, yeah, this is completely full circle for you then, huh? Totally. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's great. Um, so we talked about the show at Miramar, the show at Promises. Um, what's the future of the Benjamins? I'm I'm glad you asked. We're kind of every time we get together for a reunion show, we, we kind of always get the wheels spinning in our minds and come up with light bulb moments. But the art of disappointment only came out on CD back in the day through Drive Through Records. And we approached Drive Through again to see if we could do a vinyl release. And hopefully, you know, not to spoil anything or throw too much out there, but hopefully we're going to put together a vinyl release next year and do a show or two if we can around that. That's, the That's incredible. Yeah. yeah, you you heard it here first. Yes, sir. I'm I'm looking forward to that. That's great to hear. Um, mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to new Benjamin's music and, and new new prints. Me too. Hopefully we can get together and write some new songs next year, too. I mean, I can't guarantee anything, but uh, seven years ago when we got together, we wrote a new song called Corvette Summer and put it out on this little EP CD. So who knows with this? these two shows and maybe next year will yield new song wise. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Yeah. Um, well, this was great, John. Uh, I'm, I'm glad we we're able to get together again. I will see you this weekend. The, uh, globe East reunion at Miramar theater starts at one o'clock and then, uh, Benjamin's, uh, at, at, uh, promises for a matinee at two o'clock. Yes, sir. I, I can't wait to see you and can't wait to see some old friends and make some new friends, too, because that's what Milwaukee is all about. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, John. I'll see you this weekend. Yeah, thanks uh, a lot. And safe travels. Thanks a lot, man. I'll see you this weekend. All right. Cool. Peace.